Hello, I'm Liz Spencer, Executive Director of Naperville Community Television. Earlier today, two revered Naperville institutions, North Central College and Little Friends, Inc., issued a historic announcement. The joint announcement stated the college's intent to purchase the Little Friends property located two blocks east of its campus. To talk more about this, I'm joined by North Central College President Troy Hammond and Little Friends President and CEO Mike Briggs. Let me start by offering my congratulations to both of you, as I know this announcement means exciting things are in store for your respective institutions. Thank you for joining me. Oh, no, thank Glad you. To be, Glad to be here. President Briggs, talk about the growth and evolution of Little Friends and the factors that led to the decision to move from the organization's current location. I'd be happy to. Little Friends is a multifaceted organization that serves the needs of those challenged by developmental disabilities and autism. During the past couple of years, we've seen the growth of the support that we provide to the clients reach uh, as many as 800 clients. And because of that, with our aspirations to, to try to grow, it became clear that um, space was going to be an issue for us as we moved forward. President Hammond, when Mike first approached you about the opportunity to purchase the Little Friends property, what was your reaction, especially given the property's close proximity to the college? Well, we were very excited about the possibility for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it opens up uh, future possibilities for North Central College uh, to achieve its edu educational goals uh, using that space, but also the opportunity to play a key role in helping Little Friends achieve its aspirations as well. Uh, it made a lot of sense. The college uh, actually owned that property uh, beginning in 1945 and used it for dormitory purposes for uh, many years after that. And then in 1975, Little Friends began to lease it and ultimately acquired it in the 1980s. So in some sense, this is a reacquisition of property that used to be part of the college. And uh, when we look back to our master land use plan in 2010, uh, which we uh, worked on publicly with the uh, community and the city. Uh, we even envisioned it then and, uh, and, and stated in there that if that opportunity uh, came, came forward that we would be interested in reacquiring that property. Your institutions have a long history with one another and as part of the community. Can you both speak to that history and how the relationships might have factored into this decision? I'll, I'll, I'll answer first. Um, it, it, as Troy mentioned, I mean, if you look back to the, the fact that we were, we were provided the opportunity to lease the space back in the 1970s, I mean, that tells you how long our relationship began. And since then, we've done a number of things with the university, including uh, a, number of, a number of different programs where students participate and help with our clients in terms of internships and things like that. So it's, um, it's been something that's been ongoing for a long, long period of time. Yeah, I would definitely second that. Our students have uh, had great experiences um, volunteering and serving with Little Friends to help Little Friends achieve its goals uh, with its uh, students and clients, uh, ranging from uh, our athletic teams and other clubs uh, volunteering and supporting at the Little Friends uh, Gala every year, uh, but then also throughout the year at many different opportunities um, to, to help serve and, and give back through Little Friends uh, mission and, and goals. And so it's, it's been a, a great relationship for a very long time. That's wonderful and the community has really benefited. President Briggs, what's next for Little Friends? Well, the, the current plan as it is right now is that we're hoping to uh, and plan to acquire a property that's in the city of Warrenville that butts up to the, uh, to the border of Naperville. It's at the corner of Deal um, and Mill Street or just a little bit to the west of that. Assuming all goes well, um, uh, when we're able to move out, we'll move into that facility sometime in early 2020. Wow, exciting. Super it is, exciting. Uh, absolutely. President Hammond, what are North Central College's plans for the property? Well, we don't have specific plans yet. Um, this is all very new. Um, uh, uh, President Briggs just approached us uh, a couple of months ago with this opportunity. Um, so uh, we haven't made any firm decisions at all yet as to what we will do with the property. Uh, we will uh, we'll be working that in, in the years to come. But I would just emphasize that as we assess this opportunity, both myself and also the Board of Trustees, it's with a very long-term uh, hat on. This 
where uh, the college is over 150 years old. And this is something that we uh, think can be helpful to us as we think about the next 150 years uh, of the institution's history. President Hammond, can you address any questions or concerns that nearby residents might have as it relates to potential construction or car and pedestrian traffic? Uh, obviously, as I, as I mentioned, we, we don't have firm uh, ideas of exactly what we would do first with the property, and that will be coming uh, down the road in the future. Uh, but uh, uh, President Briggs has shared with me on a number of occasions uh, the challenges that they have had over uh, past years with the volume of bus traffic that comes into and out of the historic district uh, really twice a day, uh, both dropping off uh, students from districts uh, all over the suburbs uh, and then um, picking them back up again. And so we see that as uh, one big benefit with, uh, with that bus tra traffic being reduced mm -hmm. in the historic district. Does the college have any plans to purchase any additional properties? Uh, we, we don't have uh, a plan to intentionally uh, solicit or acquire properties in the historic district. Uh, we've only done this on, on rare and kind of strategic occasions such as this where there's a real win-win for uh, the community and, and the college. Uh, we, we've certainly endeavored to be a very good steward of that relationship uh, with our neighbors and with the city. And so we, we don't have a specific plan for any acquisition of properties. And what's the timing of all of this? We're, we've just ce we're celebrating the, uh, the signing of a, of, a, of a purchase agreement here, but it's going to take uh, a fair amount of time to complete uh, zoning processes and to reach agreement, which we, we think we can close by the end of 2019. How does the Naperville community stand to benefit from this purchase? I'll, I'll offer up and then um, let, let uh, President Briggs respond, but I think this is an opportunity for an important piece of property to be used in a way that is uh, very beneficial for the city of Naperville. Uh, North Central College's um, uh, possibility of thriving as an educational institution will, uh, will, will be ensured by, by the help of this facility the, and, and the property. So I think as North Central College gets strong, that's a benefit to Naperville. And, and certainly Naperville's strength is a benefit to North Central College. It's a real uh, symbiotic uh, relationship that's positive for both. I, I think being so close by, literally on the border of Naperville too, that, that providing additional space that provides us the ability to grow a number of the different programs that we anticipate and, and knowing some of the challenges that are brought on particularly as, as the, um, the, the need for, for supporting folks that are challenged by autism and having services that can help those individuals and their families and being so close by I think will be of benefit throughout the entire area including Naperville. And finally, Liz, I would just highlight that um, uh, President Briggs and I look forward to hosting an event on uh, January 14th um, on North Central College's campus for neighbors to talk further about the, um, the agreement between the two uh, institutions and what the possibilities are for the future. Thank you, President Hammond and President Briggs for taking time to speak with me about this exciting announcement. Congratulations once again to both of you. I wish North Central College and the Little Friends community all the best as this process moves forward. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. As a reminder, President Hammond and President Briggs will host a neighborhood meeting regarding today's announcement on Monday, January 14th at 6 p.m. at North Central's Judy G. Stevenson Ratio Hall on the second floor of the Wentz Science Center.